Well, would you look at that? Naomi Osaka has partnered with Barbie for her new role model doll. Well done, Naomi. Of course, if you're slower than molasses in the wintertime, you think this means she was lying about her mental health. Mm, mm, mm. What's up, everybody, and thanks for checking in with us once again here at The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Do me a favor, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, tap that notification bell, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you feel so inclined, head on over to social media and follow me at Jerry the Fanatic. Stay with me, people. Common sense is not that common, or as my grandmother used to say, try as you may, you just can't fix stupid. So who am I talking about? Well, a woman who thinks she knows for a fact what race a fictional character is Therefore, expecting black representation is just foolish. And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that, that maybe we should, we should also have a black Santa. Or here's one, even better. A white woman putting on blackface and not feeling like it's racist. Well, what, but what, what is racist? Because, look, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on yes, blackface yes. on Halloween, or a black person who puts on whiteface yes. for Halloween. Like, I, that, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. Let me say this slowly and very plainly. These are not arbitrary mistakes or misjudgment. Megyn Kelly is a typical mega head, and she simply does not like black people. So much so that even after 18 years as a journalist, she would rather throw wild comments at a young black woman than to try a tiny bit of research. We all remember back in May when Naomi Osaka announced she would not participate in post-match news conferences during the French Open. Well, everyone became so up in arms about that, mostly citing how much money she makes and therefore <laughs> Who cares what she feels and how her mental health is? None of that should matter, even though you guys can't do what she does or inspires the way she does. That doesn't matter, which is interesting because I would bet my last dollar that these are the same people that wanted her to be silent when she was representing for Black Lives Matter during the US Open. Be quiet or talk, which one is it, people? But I digress. Once she decided the trolls simply were not worth her time or her mental health, she decided to withdraw from Wimbledon. And Ken and Karen are not happy about that. First up, Ken, AKA Clay Travis. Clay is a born again, willfully ignorant troll who doesn't believe that racism even exists in America. He decided to show the very reason why Naomi doesn't want to be bothered with the media. He took to Twitter to say, since saying she's too introverted to talk to the media after tennis matches, Naomi Osaka has launched a reality show, a Barbie, and is now on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. And Megyn Kelly responded with, let's not forget the cover of an interview in Vogue Japan and Time Magazine. Couple of things, Megyn Kelly. Why did you use parentheses instead of a comma? Perhaps you should focus on stepping up your writing skills instead of playing dumb about things we all know that you actually know. And don't co-sign on a post from a guy who would clutch his purse and move to the back of the elevator if I stepped on it. Just some helpful tips. But I am glad Naomi checked you on this. She took to Twitter and said, seeing as you're a journalist, I would have assumed you would take the time to research what the lead times are for magazines. If you did that, you would have found out I shot all of my covers last year. Instead, your first reaction is to hop on here and spew negativity. Do better, Megan. I very much applaud Naomi for this. First, she didn't address Clay because she knows he is just a hate mongrel and not a real journalist. Then she gracefully checked Maga Kelly and then she blocked her. Now, of course, Maga Kelly responded, but how embarrassing is that? Here's a 50 year old woman going na 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 to a 23 year old young black woman who expressed that she's mentally exhausted. Bitterness is ugly, y'all. And Maga Kelly is so obviously hateful and bitter. As a reminder to Naomi and those of you watching this, you don't owe anyone anything. Not your time and certainly not your sanity. And Maga Kelly, since you are Little Miss All Lives Matter, remember if you really believe that, you would include the life and the mind of this truly amazing, young, beautiful black woman. Get your lie right, ma'am. Feel free to tell Maga Kelly off or maybe you're just bitter as well. Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble and we'll see you next time.